Paul, win for your side tonight. What did you make of the performance? Um, I think we competed, certainly. That was something we spoke about after Friday night, no matter what team it is that, that's putting the shirt on. Thought we were, were far too easy to play against um, last Friday, so that was, was much better. But second half, we played better at times on the ball. We had a period where we looked a better team. Um, but still lots of, lots of room for improvement. Um, I think for me, we need to get back on the training pitch, just remind um, the players in terms of the shape, what we're looking to play from, and certain you know situations where players need to be to improve. Um, but there were some good bits. I thought you know a couple of good individual performances as well, certainly which is encouraging. And still, what a big part of it is, is is minutes in the legs for quite a lot of them. Obviously, I didn't make too many changes, um, certainly too early. So there'll be some tired bodies and legs in there, but you know we're still a, a little bit away, so that that's okay. Um, the lads aren't going to go into games in fairness as sharp as we would want them to be when it comes to the season starting. Uh, but that's all part of pre-season. John McAtee in particular I thought was very impressive tonight. He looks like he's really grown into the, into the side, hasn't he? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> like not trying to be clever about it, but as I said, the game against Rotherham, he didn't seem to, uh, or they didn't seem to be too much talk. It was about a couple of other players. And for me, there were moments within that that kind of stood him apart. Um, and tonight, I think on the ball he, he takes care of the football and he picks up some lovely areas. It's then our job to find him when he does that, and then for him to try and try and hurt the te hurt teams. And he played a ball through to set up a, what should have been an opportunity. He was he always looked like something might happen when he got the ball, and obviously scored a, a very good goal. Uh, playing in a, a more advanced role, we're struggling at the minute, really struggling in terms of um, players. We've got a lot of injuries. I don't think I've known a pre-season like it, uh, if I'm if I'm honest. From that point of view, so many injuries and the top end of the pitch, we we're pretty decimated. So, you know, we we continue to look at that and try and monitor and, and hope and pray that we we get a couple back um, sooner than than maybe is anticipated. But you know, what he he can play up there. Um, but obviously the other two were Ed. You know, it's a it's a tough ass play men's football, but a great experience. Thought him and Lou both did better second half when we went. We changed formation. I don't know if you could tell that, but we we changed to a diamond um, and played the two younger lads down the middle. And I think it it kind of helped both out a little bit. Both got hold of the ball a bit more and and had better moments. And Seb as well after his debut on Friday. I, Bit more of an attacking influence tonight as well with the assist. Yeah, and he was playing against a, a very quick player, so that was a good battle initially. Um, but did get forward, put a couple of decent, well, one certainly good free kick, the other one I think he over it. Um, but again, he'll only get better. I think even in training, watching him, he's getting used to it. You know, we did some running uh, at the end of training yesterday, and you can tell he's finding it tough. And I think from where he's come from, he would be classed as a, as a fit lad. But it's just, you know, a bit different for him, that's all. Um, but for eight, just 18, you know, I think he wants to compete. He, he's a very honest lad. I don't think there's any kind of wrong attitude to him. He wants to do well, he, he wants to learn, he wants to impress. Um, and I think he'll only get better. Uh, Obviously, he's, as I say, plenty of work still to do, but your defenders did particularly well tonight as well, coming up against some very experienced attackers as well. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, Reedy come on at the end there and, and cause a few problems, as he will, I think, to any team if, if the ball's played up towards him. Um, Sean Tutt and Dale Southwell, two former uh, Grimsby Town players, had the moments as well, but overall, I'm not sure how many saves Mac has really had to make. Um, I better say he made a great save, but it was offside, so it doesn't count. Um, but no, we I think we in general we kept them relatively quiet, a few long throws and things like that to deal with, which again we know we're going to have to deal with uh, at the start of the season. Nearly every team I watched last season in in the national league seemed to have a long throw, so that's something we'll definitely come up against. Um, but yeah, just pleased 
I think it doesn't matter who you're playing against, habits of you know winning a game, keeping a clean sheet. I don't know, I said to the player, I don't know if just a few look like they're almost look like they're not quite as confident as they need to be. So that's something, you know, we'll speak about individuals and and see how they are. There's no reason they shouldn't be. But I think there is, you know, a lot a lot more to come from us. So now a case of I guess wrapping everyone up in cotton wool for the next well, yeah, I mean, Cork is, took a whack to his knee. Um, kind of really fingers crossed on that one, because I'm not sure. He, he said he thinks he'll be all right, but I don't know. They always want to tell me a good uh, side of it. Um, but that would obviously be a big loss to us. Uh, so just fingers crossed on it. See how it is for a couple of days. If it means he has to miss Saturday, then that's what will what will happen. But... Um, Think the rest of us got through the game okay. Foxy had had a bit of a, a worry. He could feel the bottom of his his leg when he first come up. I think he must have just caught a nerve. He's jogging up here now. He's, he's managing to move. So uh, hopefully that one's okay. On the transfer front, then anything in the pipeline? No, a few inquiries and 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 talks, but. You know, probably not anything that's really grabbed me. And despite us struggling, I think we, you know, got to understand this is about the season. It's not about beating Alfred or playing Alfred and playing Boston. So if it means that we have to go in with some younger players initially, then that's what we'll do. But you know, I'm not going to hide the fact we would like to to improve those areas, and that was before the injuries. Uh, it's not on top of. Uh, or because of we just wanted that anyway, um, but yeah, it probably is limiting options and maybe you know we we were supposed to have a game tomorrow that's been cancelled. I think both teams come to that conclusion, but we were definitely struggling to to even get a side out, and that's including the the young lads who have had injuries themselves. So um, yeah, been a strange strange pre-season on the injury front. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.